Welcome to our channel. We are full-time RVers and we just love exploring our beautiful country. We aren't retired, so we continue to work in some of the most amazing places. The hardest part is we miss our family. Follow along as we share our work camping experiences, hiking, and exploring. All right, so we're gonna do the island trail. One mile round trip and a lot of stairs. Yikes. Ready for this? Of course. Let's do it. Whoa, look at all these stairs. Go ahead. I see that. Not so bad going down. Up is going to be not so nice. Right? Right. Walnut Canyon National Monument is located 10 miles southeast of downtown Flagstaff, where we were able to meet up with cousins from Florida. They were on their way to Grand Canyon. The next day, we decided to do some hiking. The first hike, Island Trail. This trail leads you back in time more than 700 years ago. There are 25 cliff dwelling rooms along this one mile round trip loop. Elevation is 7,000 feet and be prepared, there are many stairs. Believed to have lived in the Flagstaff area from 600 until 1400 AD, the Hopi ancestors were an innovative people who managed to sustain their community in an arid region. Archaeologists called them the Sanagua, meaning without water. By the 1100s, the Sanagua were living in alcoves below the canyon rim, where the women constructed unique cliff dwellings still visible throughout the canyon. Using limestone rocks cemented with golden colored clay, the women formed walls around the eroded limestone caves and reinforced their doorways with wooden beams. Walnut Canyon cliff dwellings are the most visible ruins of the National Monument's 232 prehistoric sites. When the Sanagua moved to nearby villages in 1250, they left behind over 80 dwellings with three to four rooms each. So these were, maybe some of these were used to store tools, food, and water. Larger rooms are their living spaces, so more like this one.
Since visiting the different dwellings through Arizona, Utah, and Colorado, I started reading about the ancients. I'm on my fourth book. I find it that interesting. If you haven't seen our video on Mesa Verde, I'll leave a link right here for you. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And until next week, see you later.